Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, A8744. Today, guys, we're predicting the quarterfinals, the first leg, and all three competitions. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the Champions League first. We got Real Madrid versus Manchester City. In my opinion, this will be a draw. I think Manchester City are going to do this. I'm going to say it's going to be another 1-1 draw like last season. And yeah, I'm going to say... This time around, I think Man City will score first. I think last season, Real Madrid will score first. I think this time around, Man City will score first. And for me, my player of the match for Man City is going to be Rodri. I think Rodri is just unbelievable, underrated. Actually, probably not underrated, but he's probably one of the best midfielders in the world right now. Next up, it is Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. Ah, I am so looking for this match. This is going to be such an interesting one. Arsenal this season, midfield-wise, the defense, fantastic. My concern for Arsenal is... Who's going to be that goal scorer for Arsenal? Because for me, even though Kai Havertz is probably the most informed player right now, I have a feeling he won't really turn up for this game. And so for Bayern, man, everything lies upon this one. Because they, let's be real, the Champions League is pretty much their only hopes for uh, a, a, a miracle this season because the league is pretty much done. So for Bayern, they have to put everything for the Champions League. Can they beat this Arsenal team on the road? I'm going to say no. I think this will finish in a draw. And I'm going to say, believe it or not, I think this will be very cagey. And I have a feeling this is going to be a 1-1. I'm going to go with another 1-1 draw for this one. And I think this time around, I got the feeling that Bayern will score first. I got the feeling. And who's going to be the player of the match for Bayern? <sighs> I'm going to say Jamal Musiela. Musiela is going to be, I think he's going to be the difference maker. Now, PSG Barca. I'm actually going to do a match preview for that. So, I'll be doing that on Tuesday. So, I'm going to actually do a match preview for that on Tuesday. Because I, I haven't done I want to do a, March, a, a Barca match preview in a long time. I haven't done. So, next up is Atletico Madrid versus Dortmund. This one's going to be an interesting one, guys. I'm going to go with Atletico Madrid just to narrowly win this one. I'm going to say like a 1-0. A 1-0 Atletico Madrid win. Um, And player of the match for Atletico is tough to say. I'm going to go with, uh, is Griezmann too obvious? I think I'm going to go Koke. Or Zelino. I'm going to go to Paul, actually, to Paul. To Paul, okay. And I think I might blame my booster for this one. Okay, moving to the Europa League now. Uh, Europa League time. Okay, sorry, predictions. Quarterfinals, Benfica versus Marseille. This is a great tough one. I'm going to say this is going to end in a 2-2 draw. Uh, I think I think Benfica will score first because they're at home, but I think Marseille will. I feel like it'll be a ping-pong game. Benfica will score, Marseille will score, then Benfica will score, then Marseille score. At Benfica, my uh, goal score for them is going to be... I'm going to go with Juan Mario. I'm going to go with Juan Mario. Leverkusen, West Ham. I'm going to say this is going to end. Mm, this could be a very feisty one. Very, very cagey one. I think it's going to be a lot of goals. I feel like it's going to be a very uh, high goal scoring one. I'm going to say West Ham 2-2. Two, two. I think uh, I think this will be a back and forth game. And I think Leverkusen will do this. And yeah, I'm going to go with Patrick Schick to score the goal. He's been in such good form. Liverpool versus Atalanta. I think Liverpool is going to win this one. I'm going to say like a 3-1. I'll say like a 3-1 win for Liverpool. Um, against Adelanza. And I think the goal scorer is going to be... I have a feeling it's going to be Mohamed Salah. I should, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm going to go Salah. The Milan versus Roma. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick with that prediction. Milan 2, Bromo 1. I think Milan's going to do this. Um, this could be high scoring. Potentially. You know what? Actually, you know what? I, I take that back. I don't want to do three, 2 1. I want to go for a bit more cur crazy one. I'm going to go 3 2. 3 2, Roma. 3 2, Milan, sorry. I just think Milan have way too much difference makers in attack. So I'm going to go pull a stick to score. And I think I'm going to play. Which one do I play my booster for? Ah, it's obviously this one. Liverpool Adelanza. I'm going to play my booster for that one. Conference League. Um, we got here Victoria Plaza versus Fiorentina. I think this will be a scrappy game. I'm going to say like a 2-0 one for Fiorentina. They should be able to do this. 
And I think I'm going to put my booster for this one. Fiorentina, uh, the uh, goal scorer, I think it's going to be Nazolo. Olympiacos Ferrambache. I think it's going to be a tight one, a uh, scrappy one. Um, I'm going to say Olympiacos wins like 1 0. Um, actually, no, I'm going to say 2 0. 2 0. Olympiacos goal scorer. Who's going to score the goal? I'm going to say it's going to be Al Kabi. Aston Villa versus Lille. This is going to be an interesting one. I hope Lille could do this, but I think Aston Villa have too much quality at home. I'm going to say Aston Villa wins. I'm going to say like a 3-1. Uh, 3-1 like one. One win for Aston Villa. Um, yeah, Aston Villa. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go with Watkins to score. Club Brugge versus Pauk. I think this will be a very exciting, cagey game. I'm going to say 2-2 two, two, draw. Um, I think Club Brugge will score first. But I think Bru uh, Bru uh, I think uh, Pauk will score two goals. Uh, Nusa to score the two goals. Uh, Nusa to score a brace. Okay. So, yeah, that, that is my predictions for you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And um, remember to join the links in the description below for all the predictions. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.